Mexico, and we go to the Caribbean today. Um, I got my lucky fishing shirt on. Many of you don't know that I like to fish. I don't like to fish. I actually love to fish. I love being on the water, and I love to fish. And today, we're going to make one of my favorites, red snapper. And we're going to make fried red snapper, and we're going to do it with a Escovitch technique, which I'll break down in a little bit, that primarily a lot of the people in Jamaica use, um, but I'll get to that in a little bit. So we're going to make fried red snapper today. We're going to make some black beans and some rice, and we're going to keep it simple. Using all fresh ingredients, lemons, ginger, pepper, garlic, a little bit of my seasoning, onions, garlic, um, scotch bonnet peppers, carrots, and some green peppers. And I'm going to use some fresh coconut milk from some coconuts that I got from not too far from my house. And I diced that up and actually made some coconut water that I'm going to put in here just to sweeten it up a little bit. So this is going to be the first segment. And uh, let's go. Let's get it started. All right. So... There's a couple of things we need to do in a preparation, but this is a, I don't want to say it's a quick and easy meal, but the prep time is about 15, 20 minutes. And then when you actually cook time, it's about 15, 20, 30 minutes too. So about an hour, you can get this all done. As you know, on this show, we play music. And if we're going to go to the Caribbean, in that whole place down there, I'm going to play a little bit of music, because that's the beach part of the show. And we're going to go with that. Nothing bad with a little Drake. So come on in. One of the things that you need to be focused on when you're doing this is really looking at the quality of the fish. And if you look at the eyes of this fish, they are very, very clear. If you see a piece of fish and the eyes are grayed out, that's not something you want. You want clear eyes on that fish because that, that will let you know the quality of the fish. And you also don't want a bad smell of the fish. This fish was fresh from this afternoon, fresh out the ocean. Now, I live in South Florida, so it's a little easy me, easier for me to get to that, but that's what you want. You want a good quality fish, fresh, fresh as you can get it. And if you ever see gray eyes, don't touch it, all right? Now, I'm gonna do a lot of different things with this fish and prepare. Right? If you see the gills and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to trim this here. Not all the way down. Some people do it. I'm going to leave a little bit because it flares up when you fry it and it's nice for presentation. And I'm also going to cut this, the tails. I'm going to trim this down here and slice that about here, right, right here. I don't want the whole tail, but I want a nice little piece here. I'll cut the fin off here. I'll cut the little fin off here. And it's already been gutted and cleaned. And that's what I'm going to stuff with some fresh herbs. So this fish is almost pretty much prepared. I'm not going to show you that process because it could be a little violent for TV. But I'm going to show you the finished product in a little bit. And we'll come back to the next step. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit of game. Now, I told you I, I, I shaved the top of that fin off. I cut the tail off, just left a little bit. And then I cut the fins off right and now I'm gonna scale the fish and here's a little trick because when you start scaling a fish with a knife and you start doing this these scales start flying up everywhere so what I do I do it in the sink I turn the water on and then the water pushes the scale down and then I scale that fish so now when the scales flip up they're not flipping up crazy on me it's going actually right into my sink so just turn a little water on, go a little low with it, make this water a little colder. And you can now scale that fish and the scales don't flip up and go all crazy. I was in the Caribbean and a guy taught me that technique and I'm going to share it with you guys because it does make a big difference. So look, I don't have scales all over my house because when you scale, if you never scaled the fish before, when you go against the grain, those scales start popping up crazy. So that's a little trick. And uh, 
I'll see you on the next thing. This is almost done. Okay, so now if you come in, you can see these beautiful red snappers are now clean. That scale of stuff is all gone now. And you can see everything is, is all is all pretty much cleaned up and finished. That's a nice piece of fish right there. So what we're gonna do next is season this fish and we're gonna get it prepared for the frying process. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take number one and number two off here and I'm gonna put the, the slits in. And I'm gonna cut one here, two, I'm going down to the bone. You can feel it. Then I'm going to go three. Right, so you got four nice slits here so we can get the seasonings and the herb in there. I'm going to do that on both sides. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to give it a little cross slit. Now, if you look at that presentation versus just a presentation with the three slits, you can really get the seasoning all the way around. And after you fry it, it gets fried around these edges. It looks really nice. So that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to do both sides. And then I'm going to come back on this next piece. And I'm going to season it up. See you on the next step. Okay, so... Now that the fish has been prepared, now we're going to get to the seasoning part. I have three different seasonings here. Garlic, pepper, black powder, black pepper, I'm sorry. And then I got Tony Shishiris seasoning. I'm going to put all of this in this bowl. Two tablespoons of each. Garlic powder, black pepper. I'm staying away from the salt. Because there's enough salt in that Tony Shisheries, I don't need that much more. You mix that in there, and that's what we're going to rub on that fish. So if you come up here, we're going to start on the inside of the fish first, which has been clean. And just put a little, sprinkle a little bit of seasoning in there and get that good. And if you see the lemons and the limes, that's going to be stuffed inside. And I'll show you that in a second. But we're gonna do the inside of the fish with the herbs so you get that flavor all the way through. And massage it in there a little bit. Nothing like a little Bob Marley. Just a great dish to listen to good music. And nothing like the Caribbean experience. So you rub that in here and you see as I cut in the squares, that seasoning goes right inside of it. You wanna get that in there. That's the good stuff. That's where you really get it in there. Because the skin is going to be what it's going to be. It's going to fry, but that internal side is nice. Flip that baby over. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to get that in there. Save a little bit of that seasoning because we're going to need that for the vegetables. So don't use it all, but that's your big part. That's one. And I'm going to go ahead and do this other one, and I'm going to come back to you for the next step. Alright. This is getting good. So, do you know about that Wayne Wonder? What's your Caribbean playlist? I know many of you travel all around the world. This is one of my playlists, so this was a good one. Come on in. I'm going to show you a little bit more. So now, we prepared the fish. Fish is seasoned, right? We're gonna take some lemons and limes and stuff them inside the fish for flavor. Modin on the lime because I like limes more than lemons. Now, one of the other things I'm gonna do is pretty interesting is I'm gonna cut some fresh thyme right here from my plant that's in my kitchen. Take a little bit of fresh thyme, clean that off, a little, a little water bath, and take that fresh thyme, I don't need that much. I'm gonna stuff that in here too, along with the lemons and the limes. 
And man, the aroma on that is official. And then after I do that, I'm gonna come to my other little plant who's been growing so well. I'm sorry, baby. I'm gonna rinse her off. I'm gonna put that in there too. And that's Italian oregano. So, with those two inside the fish, you stuff that in there nice, and the fish is seasoned up. And she is prime time, ready for the fried experience. I'm going to do the same thing with this fish, and I'll see you on the next step. trick that I do. This is a fresh ginger root. I'm a big fan of ginger and it's actually helped for you. It's healthy for you. So is uh... anyway, I'm gonna come back to that. You take that ginger root, you put it in here in the garlic press. You just squeeze that on top of that. You get a little bit of that ginger push on it. It's not a lot, but that ginger is strong so you don't want it to be that much. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other one. You take that fresh ginger. Sprinkle that on the top. And I'm going to do the same one with this extra piece. And I'm going to drop it on. Watch this. Yeah. I just, I'm a fan of that fresh ginger. So that fresh ginger gives you a nice little pop. It's good for you. Just lay them on top. It's gonna fry them up. So now, fish is done. We're gonna go to the frying process because it's ready to go. The fryer is at 350, and I'm frying it. Come check it out. So these fish are ready to go. Now, this oven, this oven, this is at 350 degrees. When I lay the fish in here, I'm gonna lay the fish away from me. Because if you lay it towards you, that oil stuff could pop towards you and you could get seriously hurt. This is what we call suntan turnover time for the fish. Shout out to LA, that's what they do. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna take this little piece and just turn that over. And oh, look at that. Look at that. She is a beauty. Oop, tail broke. You got to be very delicate with that fish. Cause she's sensitive. There you go. Okay. So you going to let that go. See you in the next step. Hey, check this out. So now we're on this next next piece of the episode. We're gonna come in, we're gonna take this fish out. This fish is ready to go. I'm gonna finesse this fish out. I have it on the side part. I'm gonna do this one first. I'm gonna do it this way, because I'm right-handed. And I'm gonna scoop and put a little support underneath the fish, because it will break apart on you. I'm actually gonna take it off the heat. And then I'm going to support it with the tongs on the back. Drag this over. Oh yeah, that's a nice piece of fried fish. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Give it some support underneath, like your children's. If you are fortunate enough to have grandkids like I do, just give them that support underneath. make it work but those are the two finished pieces and man we are almost home I I wish that technology would allow you to smell this it smells so good so I'm gonna show you this next step on how we're gonna do to the next day but that was a good move see you on the next step okay we're in the final stretch come on in let's check this out so this is what the fish 
was actually cooked in. So what I'm gonna do is, in my Le Cousset, I'm gonna pour the overage from that oil. Cause I want all that stuff on the bottom. I'm just pouring this. I know it's away from you. But I want that flavor that's on the bottom right there from the fish. And that's how we're gonna do the escovitch. Now, the escovitch is this. You take garlic. Put that in there. Let that go, get some flavor added to it. And that's all cooking in what the fish was just cooked in. Then I'm gonna add the peppers. I said green peppers early, but it's yellow peppers, red peppers, it's whatever colors you like. I like the colorful colors, because it makes it sexy. I'm gonna stir that up. Oh man, the smell is already ridiculous. You're gonna let that simmer. And then we're gonna add the onions. I'm not gonna take this, this was one full onion. I'm gonna take like half of that onion and put it in there. I, do, I am a fan of onions. I'm gonna just take that half of onion, put that in there. Gives you a nice color. And man, that smell is unbelievable. Now, while that's cooking, I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit to get that going. You want that crunch, I'm gonna add some carrots. I took some baby carrots and just sliced them up. Just gonna drop that in there. Drop those baby carrots in there. Now, here's a little trick. Remember that seasoning that we did that fish with? I left a little small dish. I'm gonna sprinkle that on there. Just to get that seasoning right, not seasoning, but get that flavor on there to be consistent with the fish. That's all you need. And, ooh, man! And Shaba was dope. And then last but not least, some people like spice, some people don't. I'm going to add a scotch bonnet pepper. And if you don't know about that scotch bonnet pepper, don't play yourself. Because it's one of the best and hottest peppers in the game. But I like heat. So I put a little scotch bonnet pepper in there. And I can smell it already. So look at that. That is... Escovitch. And this is the process. Now, what I'm going to do is add... About a quarter cup of vinegar. And let that sit simmer down and sweat. And that little vinegar adds a nice touch. I'm gonna let that sit. I'm not gonna stir it up too much. I want that to cook and settle. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add some fresh coconut water from these coconuts that I got down the street from my house because I like sweet. So I'm gonna add a little fresh coconut that I got earlier. I diced that up and took a little fresh coconut water and turned it into this. And I'm gonna drop that in here. Not yet, I'm gonna wait a little bit. It's not a part of a traditional recipe, but it's just something that I like and I thought the fresh coconut was dope. So I'm gonna add it and that's the beauty of cooking. It's all about your recipe. It's like life. It's about how you wanna move. See you on the next step. Now we're at the grand finale and we're plating up. This has been a wonderful experience to prepare this fish for you. Come check this out. So what we're going to do is, this is the red snapper. I got some black beans and some rice. And then I got the escalator that I'm going to put on top of the fish. So first thing we're going to do is, let me put a little rice in. Get a little bit, safe place to land. This rice has, this is basmati rice, actually. And then uh, put some black beans on top of it. 
that much, but just a nice little thing to give you that, that flavor that you might want. I got more. You can come back and get some more. We good. Those two things. And then I'm going to do a little surgery on this fish. Now, I got my big knife. We'll talk about this knife on another episode. But this knife has purpose. And I'm going to scoop this fish up and give him that support that I talked about earlier about family. That's that family support. You just got to come. Sometimes they just need it. So that's a nice little finish right there. Right? And then, last but not least, I'm going to take this. Just lay it on top. Oh, man. If you guys can smell this, you would say, what is he doing to me right now? Because this, I'm excited my damn self. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of a lime, fresh lime. Get that in there. Ah! Nelson Mandela style. And I'm going to do a little bit of lime. I mean lemon. And if you haven't been to South Africa, that's a place you need to go. That is it. That is Red Snapper, the way we doing it here on Eats and Beats. Now, we always know we gotta come to the finale for the taste test. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fork real quick. I'm going to start with a little bit of the beans and rice. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's good stuff. Now, let's get to this fish with the layers. Take a little piece of this fish. I'm going to show you. Come on in. Remember how I cut it in squares? Look at that square right there. Look at that square, that fresh piece of fish right there. Oh, man. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get inspired to keep continuing to cook. I'm glad you tuned in to watch this. And as we always say on this show, continue to live, love, and laugh. And until the next episode, peace. Enjoy music.